experiment to recrystallize a sample of benzoic acid. In this experiment, you will purify the benzoic acid crystals obtained from the previous experiment by means of a technique called recrystallization. Also, the crystals obtained may not be well formed and bigger crystals may be obtained by the technique of recrystallization. There are five stages in this experiment. Stage one, dissolving the crystals in the minimum amount of hot water. The crystals are dissolved in the minimum amount of hot water in order to get a solution which is saturated at the boiling point of the solvent. In other words, the boiling water contains the maximum amount of dissolved benzoic acid. The mass of the benzoic acid crystals synthesized in the last experiment is found on the laboratory balance. The crystals are placed in a conical flask which we will label conical flask A. Using a graduated cylinder, about 10 cm cubed of water is added to the conical flask. The conical flask is placed on a hot plate and the water is boiled. While heating the water, the solution is kept well stirred with the aid of a stirring rod. Ten centimeters cube portions of water are added to the boiling water in the conical flask A until benzoic acid has dissolved. That is, until you can no longer see any of the white solid. Benzoic acid can be purified by recrystallization from water because it is very soluble in hot water but only slightly soluble in cold water. The known mass of the impure benzoic acid is dissolved in the minimum amount of boiling water in order to get a solution which is saturated at the boiling point of the solvent. That is, the boiling water contains the maximum amount of dissolved benzoic acid. As a result, crystals will form on cooling and the yield obtained will be maximised. Some benzoic acid will, however, remain in solution since benzoic acid is slightly soluble in cold water, but by using the minimum amount of boiling water, the amount that remains dissolved in cold water will be minimised. If too much solvent is used, the yield of crystals will be low as some benzoic acid will remain in solution rather than crystallising out. In this stage, the hot, almost saturated solution is filtered in order to remove any insoluble impurities. These insoluble impurities are left on the filter paper when the hot solution of benzoic acid is filtered. A glass funnel and another conical flask, which we will call conical flask B, are heated by immersing them in hot water. The hot conical flask B is placed on a heat resistant mat. A fluted filter paper is placed in the funnel. The funnel is held in a ring stand. Using suitable gloves, the boiling solution is quickly filtered by pouring it into the fluted filter paper in the preheated glass funnel. This filtration must be done quickly to prevent crystallization during the filtration process. If crystals form on the filter paper or in the stem of the glass funnel, a dropper is used to add a small amount of boiling water to dissolve them so that they pass into the filtrate. It may be necessary to heat the conical flask A from time to time on the hot plate if crystals are observed coming out of solution in the conical flask. Soluble impurities, together with the dissolved benzoic acid, pass through the filter paper. This type of filtration is often referred to as gravity filtration since the liquid passes through the filter under the force of gravity alone rather than with the aid of suction. Conical flask A is rinsed with the filtered solution, the filtrate, to remove any remaining benzoic acid solution and the washings are passed through the fluted filter paper. It would not be a good idea to add additional water to conical flask A 
as this would make it more difficult to crystallise out the pure benzoic acid at a later stage. We need to keep the solution saturated. Insoluble impurities are left behind in the filter paper. This filter paper is removed and discarded in the rubbish bin. In this stage, we allow the hot solution, called the filtrate, to cool so that crystallisation can take place and crystals of pure benzoic acid are formed. Since benzoic acid has low solubility in cold water, the hot saturated solution of benzoic acid is cooled in ice in order to obtain the maximum yield of crystals, that is, to ensure that the recrystallization is as complete as possible. Larger crystals form when the hot solution, the filtrate, is allowed to cool more slowly to room temperature before being placed in iced water. Any soluble impurities will not crystallize but will remain in solution due to their much lower concentration compared to that of benzoic acid. That is, soluble impurities will remain in solution, but the pure benzoic acid will recrystallize out of solution. The conical flask containing the filtered solution is placed in a beaker of iced water. Note that crystals begin to form in the conical flask. If crystals have been slow to form, a seed crystal of pure benzoic acid could be added to the solution. In addition, if the crystals had not formed, scratching the inside of the conical flask with a glass rod would help crystal formation. Also, some of the solvent could be evaporated and the solution allowed to cool again in order to help the crystals to form. In this stage, vacuum filtration, which is also known as suction filtration, is used to isolate the crystals of pure benzoic acid. Vacuum filtration is faster than gravity filtration and also helps to dry the crystals. The crystals formed are filtered off using a Buckner flask and Buckner funnel and washed with a little cold deionized water. The soluble impurities remain in solution after cooling and pass through the filter paper. A filter paper is placed in the Buckner funnel. The filter paper is moistened slightly to help it to stick to the Buckner funnel. The crystals are filtered off using a Buckner flask, Buckner funnel and filter paper. The Buckner flask should be clamped using a retort stand. The vacuum pump is operated by turning on the water supply.
The crystals are washed out from the conical flask with the liquid in the Buckner flask. The crystals on the filter paper in the Buckner flask are washed with some ice to deionize water. The soluble impurities remain in solution after cooling and pass through the filter paper. Thus, the pure crystals are separated from the soluble impurities during the cold filtration. Suction is stopped by disconnecting the rubber tubing to the filter pump. If you simply turn off the tap, you may get a suck back of water into the Buckner flask. In this stage, the purified crystals are placed on dry filter paper and allowed to air dry or are placed in a desiccator. The damp filter paper containing the crystals is placed on a clock glass and allowed to air dry. Alternatively, they can be placed in a desiccator until the next practical class when the melting point of these crystals will be measured. This concludes the experiment.